Hi there, it's Shell. And it is now time for us to decorate our book that we have been doing the Junk Journal Basic Series on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add some like flip up pockets and one in each signature. So what I'm going to do is just take some coffee dye paper. I'm going to cut it down to about a 4x4 four four square. I'm going to cut three of those and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to try to kind of give us a little bit more room here. Whoa, <laughs> not like that, huh? Okay. That way you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I'm, again, I'm just working on a TV tray just because I didn't pull out my... Uh, we have like a antique table that kind of folds down and I didn't feel like pulling that over here and all that so just gonna work on here and again what I did is I just did some coffee dyed paper cut it to four by four squares and I'm just going to kind of go through here and we're gonna decorate up our page to kind of um, do ephemera and stuff. I thought about kind of focusing on, you know, like junk journal basic ephemera, but essentially you can do whatever you want to. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just put this here. So I'm just going to fold these down. So this is kind of like a craft with me um, book or craft with me video. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do the edges like this. And that way you can use it as a tuck as well as a journaling spot. So you can come in here and then you can have a tuck here. So it's kind of like a little pocket. And then you can open it and journal inside of it. So I'm going to do that in three each of these signatures. <laughs> I have to remind myself, it's been so long since I've worked in this book. <laughs> Christmas kind of, you know, put it on the back burner. <laughs> so I'm just now trying to get kind of back into the groove. You know, we were kind of hoping that we could stay home for a little bit because you know usually during the winter we don't have any work well that didn't last very long my husband ended up getting a phone call the day after Chris or the day after New Year's and asked told him pretty much told him <laughs> we need you for the next two days I'm gonna put this one here I think and so over in Durango, which is about an hour and a half or two hours, depending on how long, how bad the roads are, you know, we got a couple of, about a foot or so or more of snow out there. So he went over there and this is the second day he's been over there, which, you know, it's really good money because it's a private locate because we do locate and it's just a private locate. And I was talking to him today. Today was supposed to be the last day that they'd need him, and he said they haven't even done anything today, so they'll need him again tomorrow. I guess the bore machine that they're using broke down, so but they asked him to stay on site, and so he's been doing that. And guys, I tell you, I get into these books. <laughs> And when I get into books, I really just kind of tune out everything else. I know I needed to do a video, and I got, my mother-in-law called, and she said, Michelle, you got to see, you know, you've got to go and download this book. And it was like, Death by Chocolate by Sally Bernathy, I think, B-E-R-N-E-A-T-H-Y. 
Well, she ended up having seven books of that series, and I like to read them all, and that's all I've been doing. <laughs> the bad thing is, I really want to just start over and read them again. They were so good, but I was reading like two a day. <laughs> When I should be crafting, you know, how fun. Okay, so now I want to craft some um, paper clips. We're going to put on here. So I'm going to go grab my new, um, you guys haven't even seen it yet. Grab my new hot glue gun and get that plugged in and get some stuff together so we can make some, um, some paper clips for this. I think it'll be really fun. So I will be right back. So here's my new thing. I think it has, yeah, here they are. It has some little tips. I asked my husband for one. This is the one I opened early. But I asked him for this one or one that had like a little tip on it. And it has these two tips. But I really want to put this one on here, so I've got to figure out how to do that. So I'm going to go mess around with that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was really simple. I just went out to my husband's tools, and the first socket thing, whatever it's called, I picked up fit, so I was able to loosen it and put that on. So, I was going to try to do this so that I'm not having to edit anything, but I'll probably edit some of this out since I keep getting up and walking away. <laughs> but you know, when you're looking at an hour video, then you, it kind of gets away from you. Well, when you edit it, you know, you have to watch the whole thing, and that's like another hour. Plus your editing time, and then sometimes I'll go on and... Sorry. Okay, it's on. So sometimes I will watch it again to make sure I edit it correctly, especially like if the cats or I get a phone call or something like that. So, my goal for the year, besides eating healthy is to you know do videos that I don't have to edit so so we got some of these hot glue guns glue sticks I'm gonna wait for that to warm up I'm gonna move my book out of the way and I'm gonna get some scraps and stuff to use on our paper clips so I'll probably do a whole bunch of them that way when I'm doing other books at a later time I can, um, I'll have some already made up, so let me show you. I just got some paper clips from um, Office Depot. We have one of those in Durango. So I think I'm just going to use the white ones, and then we'll kind of go through that. So, but let me go get some lace and some papers and stuff, and I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so, I got these, this other TV tray over here. See? I'm still kind of organizing, so all my craft stuff is just everywhere, but I had these plastic containers that I haven't went through yet but I'm going to go ahead and use some of these because if you guys have seen Gail Agostinelli doing her is like use up the scraps or whatever it was and I thought that was such a good idea so I want to use up some of my scraps and not go into anything else so, we're just going to use this, see what we can come up with. Um, I went through my drawers, or my little, it's like a turntable thing, and it had all this stuff in there. So, I'm just going to pull from it, and see what we can come up with, to kind of decorate 
just, you know, using. I had done a whole bunch of these. And I really love, like, music, stuff like that. So I may have to, you know, figure out a way to make them a little bit sturdier. Or, like, maybe put two together if that might work. Because that wasn't... Actually, let me grab my glue stick. I think that would work just fine. Okay, sorry about that. Hubby's on his way home. <laughs> you guys don't know it, but it's been like 10 minutes since I was here last. So, I'm just using some Yoohoo glue. I bought like 12 of these, and I thought about putting them on my... <laughs> Etsy shop if anyone would be interested in them. I can put them on cheaper than you could get them like on Amazon just because I have so many of them. So I'm just going to glue some of these together just to make them a little bit sturdier. And I had a piece of paper so I don't get glue on everything which it looks like I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to stack these aside so I have a little bit more room. Probably next time I will use my table <laughs> because then I'll have quite a bit more room. And the cats get so interested in what mommy's doing. <laughs> I tell you guys, we've had fun though. You know, I've been home, like I said, most of the time. And my husband has one cat that is so, he just loves his daddy. He wants daddy home all the time, but it helps when I'm home with him. So, but, hubby, oopsie, hubby's on his way home. So he's going to stop and pick up a few groceries. I'm going to see how my hot glue gun works. It's steaming. Can you guys see the steam? I call it, it's called AdTech Pro 80. Ooh, nice. Smells like tires right now, though. <laughs> but it's nice and nice and hot. So I'm just going to kind of, like I said, just kind of see what I can come up with. And, you know, it's just a kind of craft with me because I wanted to get some stuff done on this book so I can take care of and maybe move on to another one because, you know, that's the fun part. But my December daily and the Christmas holidays and everything just kind of took up time. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here, just kind of, these I used a die to cut out, but if you don't want, if you don't have a die, you can just cut it into a square. In fact, I'm probably going to cut these down, grab my scissors, and just kind of cut them down a little bit so they're not huge, because I, I do want them to go in my book where we folded those one little pieces. So I'm just going to use this as a little template. But I can't remember what I was talking about. But anyways, <laughs> before I left, Gail Agustinelli has been doing some like things with her scraps, which is an awesome idea. And when I was going through stuff, I saw all my scraps that I have. And and I thought that would be a cool thing to do. Just kind of use what you have. And I really like that because, you know, when you're not, um, when you're not using a whole bunch of stuff, it seems like you get more creative. So, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take one of my, um, paper clips. I'm going to put the big side on the outside and then the little side on the inside. And then I'm just going to sandwich that in between these and just use 
my glue. And my husband was looking for, ooh, like one. <laughs> I tell ya. Oh, yeah, I think I'll spread out next time. <laughs> but he was looking for one that I could, like, control the um, temperature on. And obviously this one you can't because that is hot, very hot. So I'm just going to do that. And because I'm just doing a whole bunch of them, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. But I'm just going, you just put it on and then use your small side to kind of envelope it in. I like it just a little bit inside the paper clip. Oh boy, that's hot. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a whole kit. I think it's from, um, it called um, oh, what's the name of it I gotta think uh, memories are us is that right anyways they have like a whole set of things of like silicone fingertips and stuff that I want to get I think it's from the same people who make like the envelope punch board some reason my brain just went, you know, you know how it goes. So I, I can't really remember, but I thought that would be a good idea because silicone, I think it comes with a mat and everything. Let me find a place to kind of put all my trash. That's not a good place. <laughs> Get my trash bucket over here. I have a bucket I use when I'm in here. Do a couple more because you know it's just fun to kind of play around with whatever you have. So the the other day, I um, the camera I used just went blank, and I was afraid I wasn't going to make any more videos. You know, I have tons of cameras, but I really like this one. It's like a really cheap GoPro. And it's like a really small, tiny GoPro, and it just quit working. And I finally went on <laughs> and figured out, because I couldn't open the slot or take the battery out. It was like stuck. And it was just a white screen, and it had gotten really, really hot. And it's really inexpensive. I mean, it's like $30 or something, $35. So it's not like a huge deal. But, you know, if you don't have to spend the money, especially this time of year, then, you know, that's nice. So I finally thought, well, I'll just let the battery die. And the next time I went and checked on it, it was even hotter. So I thought, well, so... I just yanked on that battery and it finally came out, but man, I was getting so upset, you know, about having to buy a new one. And they do have a new one that I would like to have. It's a little bit more, I think it has like a better zoom on it. This one, if I set it for a zoom, whoa, <laughs> if I set it for zoom, that's what I have to use for the whole video. I can't figure out how to change it halfway through or anything. So, it's really, you know, kind of annoying. I would like to be able to, you know, bring you guys closer. But I do like that when I do go up, you know, I don't have to wait for it to, um, what's it called, uh, uh, focus. <laughs> now, these are kind of small ones. I'm just going to do these also. You can use smaller paper clips if you want to, but I just picked up this big bag. I said, you know, my husband and I, we kind of quit going to Walmart, so I don't pick up anything at Walmart, so sometimes it's really tricky on, you know, like paper clips or things that you need, it's really tricky on where to get them and stuff like that, 
so. But it's fun because you get to go, you know, to different places. We seriously have not been to a Walmart in probably four months, five months. Because I started getting my pet food online, which is nice because my husband has those back issues. So if we buy pet food online, you know, he only has to lift them once instead of once for in the car, once for, you know, when we get home from the car, from the cart to the car and stuff. So I think it's really been good for us. Put this over here. So I really appreciate all you guys as your your comments and stuff it's been really sweet I have been reading the comments and I try to you know ow, respond that is really hot <laughs> but I try to respond to each of you at least leave a heart and you know just but I really haven't been on Facebook or anything lately because you know I got those books <laughs> And they were really good. They're kind of suspenseful, but they weren't so much that you're scared, you know. So it was kind of fun. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do five. Or is that six? <laughs> For now, because that's all the squares I have. Right offhand. So I'm just going, you know, whenever you're doing paper clips, you don't have to do anything special. You can just kind of mess around, do whatever you want to do. Uh, a lot of a lot of people will just use um, tickets. These are some I just cut down. I don't know if those will fit or not. Hey, they will. But you can use like um, tickets that you buy from Walmart or offline, off online or whatever and just kind of enclose them. There's so many different ways to do paper clips but they're fun. They're just a fun little embellishment so that's kind of fun. I don't see another one. I just happened to oh wait, here's a whole bunch. I thought I'd go ahead and use up all my paper clips I have out just because I do. <laughs> But, you know, you can, and it really doesn't take that long to do stuff with, you know, just a little decorative thing. And these tickets, what I did is I just cut them into, ow, sorry, <laughs> rectangles, ow, ow, that's hot. But then I got it all over my fingers. But I just cut them into rectangles and I used a punch or a pair of scissors just to kind of cut them into, you know, that shape. I would not be surprised if that leaves a blister. <laughs> That's how bad it was. But look how, you know, it's kind of, you can tell I didn't really spend that much time <laughs> doing it. So I'm going to do that a little different. <laughs> a really good and hot um, hot glue gun. Ow, that really hurt. Okay, so let's do one more. But I know I was talking about something. <laughs> so anyways, let's see what else did I do today. I we have grade water, or grade, is it grade or gray? Anyways, we can only wash dishes a certain amount of, our temperature has to be a certain height, strength, high I guess is what it is. And so, you know, I only have like three or four hours a day in order to run the dishwasher because of the cold weather. So, I did run the dishwasher and loaded that, ran that today, and then I made some, uh, these are cute, sorry, but I made some soup 
and it's a new recipe you know I'm trying to kind of eat healthier so I'm really trying not to eat um, a bunch of sugar I'm trying to eat more vegetables and fruits and not a whole lot of fruit because with diabetes some fruit can really uh, affect you so you can't eat tons but I'm trying to eat some that do won't bring my blood sugar up and focus on a bunch of veggies so anyways today I made like a turkey chowder so I thought I'd be domesticated and make that for my husband <laughs> he called and he said he's just been sitting there all day long that their machine just really it all broke and you know they're right in the middle of all this stuff and I guess they had two machines and both of them broke so they're not very he may not have to work tomorrow, which I know he would be really looking forward to. And he really wants to um, make some gumbo. He makes gumbo and then we freeze it. So he makes like 20 batches of it. And we're thinking about canning at this time because our huge freezer went out and we haven't replaced it. So. I can do this without running myself. So, yeah, so the turkey I made is like from leftover turkey. The, um, it's like a chowder, I guess. Turkey and potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, and then it has some chicken broth, a couple of seasonings, and, um, rice so it's kind of like a chunky um, like a chunky chowder <laughs> so I did that today after I read my book I walked down to the post office we're really close to the post office so I walked down there fed the goats all that good kind of stuff so okay so where's my book here it is so I just want to kind of remind myself of what colors I'm using. I wanted some pinks, blues, yellows, and maybe a little bit of green. So, and whites, you know. So these are pretty good ones. So we're just going to kind of play, play around and see what we have. And then I just grabbed one of my lace boxes. So if I need any bits and pieces of lace, I'll probably just refer to this. instead of like pulling you know tons of different laces and stuff so I think I'm going to use some of this I think this is a sleeve that somebody cut off of a shirt and I'm not sure where I got it but it's probably from a yard sale my little bub is over here and he's going through my trash <laughs> he heard me talking so you guys may see him I don't want him to burn his nose or anything on my hot glue gun that's what I'm going to be using so so I'll do that and maybe a little bit of the this blue eyelet Just to have a few things, but you know, I don't have to have tons of. Um, when I don't want to have tons of stuff, I just want to be able to kind of have fun, play, and do some decorating. So, my goal is to not make these any longer than an hour. So, if I'm in the middle of something, I may, you know, just turn it off and start a new like, craft with me. Because I do know, you know, it's so fun to craft with people. But if you get behind, it ends up kind of getting intimidating, I think. It does to me, anyways, because I was thinking, oh no, i got to get caught up. And then I realized I had like eight hours worth of videos to watch. <laughs> so. But, you know, you can always speed me up. The three dots, I think the three dots at the top of the video anyways on my iPad is um, 
you can certainly, you know, hit those and speed me up and make me sound like Mickey Mouse or something. <laughs> you know, I think that's kind of fun. I do that to Miss Gill sometimes when I'm watching her and I'm like, oh no, I gotta hurry and so I kind of speed up. <laughs> Sorry, Gail, if you're listening. <laughs> so I just am going to kind of layer and then just kind of put hot glue on my top. Ow! <laughs> Ow. I hardly ever cuss, but you know, sometimes, man, that hurt. <laughs> sometimes it's tempting. Oh, that's going to leave a huge blister. That hurt. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Thou shall not cry. <laughs> okay, when I get done here, I am so going on the internet and seeing if I can't find that thing I was telling you guys about. So... Now here you can just kind of put on here whatever you want to. I'm not sure where I got these cute little, um, ow that hurt, these cute little <laughs> applique pieces, but they're in here and they might be really fun. So I think I'm just going <laughs> to keep that on here. Ow. Sorry, I have a blister, I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Whew, that hurt. So yeah, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> this thing is really hot. I don't see any... Yeah, there's no temperature or anything. Nozzle heats, heats up to 380 degrees. Oh, yeah, that hurt. That'll probably hurt for a while. Okay, I'll quit being a baby. So, but yeah, sometimes I speed her video up or somebody else's if I'm in a hurry and, you know, I'm like, oh, I need to hurry so I can, you know, go to the next one and get caught up or whatever. Cause I, I like to stay caught up with Gail and with uh, Diane, Diane H on, here on YouTube. And uh, so if I get behind, then I can, sometimes I'll speed them up. Just makes me laugh. If you guys have ever watched Gail Agostinelli, she is so funny. She just cracks me up and I just sit there and laugh and when she sped up, even just a little bit, she sounds like Mickey Mouse. And she has that little laugh and it's just so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go check the phone. But yeah, so that wasn't anyone. They didn't leave a message anyways. But yeah, it's it's really fun to just speed us up if you have to. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is cute. I'm trying not to use the same finger. <laughs> I figure if I get burned again, maybe it won't be horrible, you know, on both fingers. That really hurt, though. <laughs> so, and there's a little butterfly. So you can decorate it as much or as little as you want to. You know, these are yours. It gives you a chance to be creative. So whatever you want to do. Actually, I think I'm going to do it like this. Just straight down. I'm trying to be more careful. <laughs> the only one I've ever used, the only glue gun I've ever used, is a Walmart one that was like $3. So that one was way hot. I'm sorry I said I was going to quit, but it hurt. <laughs> so let me see what I have over here. 
here. It has so many things over here, so it's kind of fun to use them up. Again, like I said, that's from ideas I got from Gail. You know what? I think I'm just going to cut a little teeny bit off. And I've seen these little spatulas that are real tiny. And I was going to get me some, but I think I saw them at Walmart. And, you know, you know we don't do Walmart, so I never did get any. So I'm going to look online. I don't know, I kind of like that, but I wish it was a little bit bigger. So pretty much I'm just talking about nothing today. You know. Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, I like that. But you know, if you're doing stuff in your book and you want to add some dimension, and I have a big goob right there and I really don't want to pick it up. But you want to add some dimension. Think about a different way to add it. I guess that would be my tip as far as like a junk journal basic. Think of instead of adding um, instead of adding bulk directly to your page. Think about adding it to. Um, to your elements that can be removed because then you can add whatever you want to add on here they can remove it and then they can go ahead and write you know in your book so you know without a bunch of bulk and things like that you know my you know like I said I don't really know if it's like a just journal basic you know tip or anything but you know it's just kind of nice to have some things to let's do this one. Some things to um, that I've learned over you know the past year or so. Like I said, I've been doing these for a couple of years now, and I really have fun this year. Just kind of focusing on them instead of the stamp store. You know, I was doing the stamp store for so many years. Uh, this would have been three years and you know it was really nice to kind of take a break from that this year and do something that I really wanted to do and that was a little bit of a change instead of just the same thing every you know time because it got to where I had to you know um, had to, um, sorry, I had to just come up with ideas for one, like, stamp set, so I didn't really have anything that I could have fun with, you know, it was like, you make a stamp set, and for the next month, you have to, you know, come up with ideas for that, and I've really enjoyed just being able to do pretty much whatever I want to do and not have to, you know, have something that you have to do, you know, you can't do what you want, you have to do it, so I really enjoyed that, and the scissors I'm using are just a non-stick scissors, so I figured, you know, the hot glue, if it sticks to it, it'll come off, Ew. <laughs> I think this is my favorite though. I really like that one. So let me see. Too blue. Too much blue. Let's see what else I have. I might have something else I could use. It's actually kind of cool.
these are my negatives. So I'll look in here and see what I have. I just happen to see this, so it's kind of cute. So if I kind of just to add another little element. of flowers that have like a dies in the center and not dies. Um, what was that called? Had um, brads in the center of them. I want to do that just to have something different. So the fun thing about cleaning up your craft room is, if you're lucky, you find all kinds of goodies in there. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm still in the middle of doing that, you know. Like I said, I just was doing so much reading that I kind of didn't do much of anything else. And that's not too bad. I think that glue takes a little bit longer to dry. Okay, like this one, you can do it sideways too. You know, you have to kind of think what direction you want to go. So you could do it sideways or, I don't know, I just saw this and I thought that might be pretty. And probably when I'm done with just gluing things on, I will go and get my Tim Holtz words. And I think they're so fun when you have something, but when you add a word to it, you know, like joy or something like that, it just makes so much more, um, you know, it just really brings it together. So I have some Tim Holtz words that I'll probably put on these. That is so pretty. I love that. Okay. So let's see what else we can do. But they're just stickers. They're just um, Tim Holtz stickers, and he has just just words. That's all it is. So you know, it might be seasonal stickers or something like that. So let's do this. But it just seems like it really kind of brings everything together. And I'll show you that when we get to that point. We're not quite to an hour yet, so I might be able to finish it all in this video. You guys have been so nice, you know, it's just meeting new friends on Facebook is just, or on YouTube is so special, you know, and I just enjoy talking to you guys. I have some really close friends. In fact, one of my closest friends I have known for about 10 years, I think, on, because we got connected on Facebook. And she was there, one of my best friend, she died like four years ago of a, um, sorry, she died four years ago of a um, aneurysm. She just pretty much, she went to the hospital and as she walked in, she died. And, I mean, before she, they could even wait on her. So, one of my best, or one of my closest friends I have talked to about, you know, my my best friend dying because we were best friends since sixth grade and that was one of the hardest things I have dealt with but to have you know somebody to comfort and to talk to you you know in the middle of the night because I remember just sitting here just bawling and I just couldn't quit kind of and she and I had talked and what's unusual I guess about the situation is like, I mean, just a few months earlier, she had had, the girls that I'm talking about, had had an aneurysm, but they caught it soon enough, and she recovered from it, and we talked, we, and I think she got smarter, 
on it because she, uh, we play words together all the time. And man, she is the hardest one for me to beat. Usually I, ha I have a pretty good, you know, chance to beat people. But man, she is tough. I almost can never beat her. So if I do, I really rub it in. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, she was there when my best friend, you know, died. And that was one of the hardest things. But she's one of my closest friends. And, you know, my stamp partner that was decorating or doing my stamp sets uh, the last year. She was somebody I met on Facebook and became partners with and we went and visited her in California so you guys are really special you never know who you're gonna meet and you know what they're gonna mean to you you know at the end of the year you know I mean a year you can yeah a lot can happen in a year a whole lot can happen in a year so I'm not sure thinking that. Now you could use different glue instead of hot glue. What? But I thought I'd try out my awesome hubby's present that he gave me. And it works. <laughs> have made these with art glitter glue too. And art glitter glue, if you're not familiar with that, it to me I think it's like a um, super glue for paper. I mean sometimes depending on how much you use you can move stuff a little bit for just a few minutes or a few seconds but you know it's kind of like it's not going anywhere once you <laughs> put it there. So. But I really like the art glitter glue too. And it does not burn you. At least I've never been burned with it. <laughs> of course it's not hot. <laughs> I tell you guys, just but we've had fun. You know, um I don't know what else I'm going to say about that. Do you guys get like that? You know, you're... Because I'm almost 50. I'll be 50 this year. And that's one reason I want to get, like, in better health. Is because I will be, you know, 50 in October. And... But I tell you, it just seems like my mind just goes... You know, you're, like, in the middle of a sentence or something. And then you f totally forget what you were talking about. I mean, is that normal? Because I know most of the people who watch my <laughs> channel are around my age or older than me. So, I think that's really interesting. And, you know, it's just, yeah, it just kind of, you know, you're kind of thinking, is that normal or is it medication? Because I am on medications and stuff. You know, I don't know. I'd love to hear from you guys. If that's normal, if it's medication or what. Because I know I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't shy away from it, you know, by any means. Because I know that, you know, I know what the opposite is, you know. If you don't live to a ripe old age, then you die at a ripe young age, you know. At a very young age. And, you know, that's... So I'm okay with getting old. That does not bother me. I've had, you know, well, my first boyfriend ever died at, I think he was only, he was very young. He was 21, I think. No, he was older than that, but he wasn't that much older, 23 probably. But, you know, I mean, and then my best friend died. And then, you know, a guy that we hung around, worked with, died. So I understand what... A blessing it is to be getting older and that does not bother me so even if I can't remember what I'm talking about in the middle of the sentence so if you guys don't like that then let me know 
course, I'll probably forget that you said it, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> this one definitely needs a word. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just... But I forget about things a lot, and, you know, it could be the med medication. It could just be a, a sign of getting old. And I might just have too much going on that, you know, I'm just not thinking about what I'm doing. Or, you know, focusing too much on it. See, so I have two more. Go ahead and off. But, you know, when you're doing this, just have a little line, just get some things done and have fun with it. Again, if I remember, I'm definitely going to get me some um, hot glue gun protection because that still, sorry, that still really, really hurts. <laughs> and I don't mean to be a wimp about it, but I think it's because it was right at the tip of my finger. Okay, I only have two more. You would think they wouldn't be that hard to complete. I really love these little flowers. They are so cute. So we do have over a foot of snow, and we are expecting more snow, which we haven't had snow, you know, like a good snow storm, or not snow but a good snow winter in the last couple of years so my husband and I are really enjoying that if he doesn't have to end up <laughs> you know doing a bunch of work and stuff because he but he was in so much pain last week that I mean he could barely walk it was so bad and because he has like a broken vertebrae in his lower back and you know, I finally said, and I don't boss him around or I try not to nag, and, but I said, you know, you just have to rest. You can't, you know, make plans to do stuff. You really have to rest. Mm -hmm. And he finally accepted that, or acted like he did. <laughs> and, you know, after about a week of solid rest, he feels 100% better. He was telling me this morning that he was so glad that I made him rest. And, you know, I mean, sometimes you just have to. I mean, he's at the point where he just has to quit, you know. He can't do what he used to do. And I think you get a point, and I'm thinking it's right around 50, that you hit a point where you are too old for some stuff. You know, you just can't do everything that you used to do. And it seems to me like it's more common right now with us than it used to be and I was talking to my friend and she's like 52 and she said you know it kind of hit her about the age of 50 where she just doesn't have she can't do as much as what she could, used to could do so if you're younger than 50 uh, enjoy this time before things get bad okay so I'm going to run grab those stickers those word stickers, and then we will finish our little paper clips. Okay, so what I did is I just found the word imagine from these little, just words of Tim Holtz, and I popped that on. Sorry, I started <laughs> talking before I turned back on my, uh, my camera. So, this one, I'm just going to see what I want to put on here. Uh, there's Inspire, but this one has a bunch of good letters, uh, words. This one is called Chit Chat by Tim Holtz. And, you know, here's one I like. What about Discover? You know, and it's just fun just to put a word on here. It's kind of like a... It's almost like a mixed media piece or something. And then just pop it on there. And I think that that really, sorry, really 
you know, shows you what a completed little project. So my camera's almost out of battery, but I'm going to hope I can do these real quick. Ow! This one says beautiful. there. This one says, let's see, let's do the Inspire, just because I already had it out. So, try to remember what side I want my glue on the most, so maybe I won't burn myself too bad. But I think it just really adds a lot to your little paper clip or to any, you know, any, um, any like mixed media or any embellishment I think is just really fun. Okay, what about capture on this? Kind of like capture the moment or something. Ow! Not too bad, it just went through the paper. Okay. <laughs> this one. Uh, let's see what we have. Um, Friends, friendship, family, hope. How about hopeful? That's kind of cool. You know, and just don't put too much thought into it. Otherwise, you know, it's really going to take you forever to come up with anything. Trust me, I know. <laughs> so this one, let's put, um, let's see. What about dreams? You know, and I'm not going to use all of these in this book, but like I said, it's just really nice to have some for another time. And instead of taking time out and um, taking time out to make a bunch of embellishments, you'll have them on a hand. This one says creative. And I have a couple more. I have a cat over here trying to get, and I don't want her to. <laughs> Let's put the light on this one. I don't want her to get burned, because I know she probably would. She... Sorry, my camera just stopped because of my battery, so I just went ahead and plugged it back in. So, I have more time. I don't have to rush. <laughs> Um, let's see. I really like these words. They're really fun. What about a door for this one? But I don't try to be perfect with them or anything. I just kind of you know, put them together and kind of do whatever I want to do. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, perfect. Just kind of throw them together. And I think that that's where things, you know, really come together is when you don't put a lot of thought into it. I really like that better than, you know, ones that I put a lot of thought into. So, in memories. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and now we are going to just select the three that we want to go in our book. And then I'll put the others aside to use at another time. So here's our book. And I'm going to find my... I do like using hot glue, though, because it does doesn't take forever for it to dry. That's what I like. So I really like this one. But I have blue. Sorry, you can't see me. Hold on. There we go. Somehow I redid the camera. But I kind of have like a little imprint of a sunflower here. 
So I think I'm going to do this one, which is creative. And then all you do, you know, you can open this up to journal, but then just slide this on, it'll hold it in place. So I really like that. That's really cute. Go to my next one. Here it is. And just figure out which one I want to put there. You know, the kind of like this one. Let's do the imagine here, I think. That's really pretty. I love that. You know, and it looks like you don't have a whole lot of, or you have tons of room in your book, but when you start decorating it, that's when you're going to find out that you really don't have as much room as you thought you would have. <laughs> because you just kind of look at it and you're like, uh, where did all my room go? Because of, you know, all the embellishments and stuff that you put in here. That would kind of go cute with the yellow and the, that one or this one. I think I'm going to do this one because of the blue. So, we got three of our pockets in there with paper clips. And I am going to put those aside. And when we come back, we will add some more ephemera into this book. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me today. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. And I hope you're decorating a book with me. Um, it's already kind of getting tight. So in the next few days, whenever I put more items in here, it's really going to get thick. Which is kind of fun to see it grow. So thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Come back tomorrow and craft along with me tomorrow. So thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.